in Star Wars, the Sith have many, many abilities, but not all of them have been in the movies. I have five dangerous Sith powers that were not in the movies that I want to go over with you. Number one, Dark Aura was introduced in Battlefront 2. Darth Sidious was known to use this ability. And it may come to a surprise to many that the video game Star Wars Battlefront 2 is full of new lore surrounding the Star Wars series. A lot of the stuff that happens in games has become canon. And I didn't realize that at first, but now I know, and I think it's super cool when, when that happens. In Battlefront 2, the story revolves around the Emperor featuring Operation Cinder and the orders Darth Sidious gave out in the event of his death. This is not the only thing that is learned about the Emperor, as he is given a new power exclusive to the game as well. When playing as Darth Sidious, players are granted a new ability called Dark Aura. Essentially, this ability allows Darth Sidious to charge the air with dark energy via the use of his Force Lightning. This would slow those around him, allowing the Sith Lord to kill his enemies with great efficiency. Number 2 Force Storm has many different meanings in Star Wars. It was a different ability from Force Lightning. Over the years and throughout the franchise's different canons, there have been multiple different abilities titled Force Storm. One of these has previously been showcased in the movies with Darth Sidious's Force Storm being an incredibly large blast of Force Lightning shown in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. However, the Darth Sidious of Star Wars Legends use a very different version of Force Storm, this one being far more powerful and destructive. It appeared in the 1991 comic series Dark Empire. Darth Sidious used the ability Force Storm to rip open massive hyperspace wormholes. This ability allowed the user to not only move things through space in the blink of an eye, but also tear planets apart if the wormhole was too close. Darth Sidious would eventually use this ability to his own detriment creating a wormhole that grew until it was out of control, consuming him as well. Number three, Dark Illusion allowed the Sith to play with people's minds. Darth Sidious attempted to use this ability on Master Yoda. A dangerous form of Sith alchemy, Dark Illusion was a power originally used by the combined forces of Darth Sidious and Count Dooku. Appearing in Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 6, Episode 13, Sacrifice, this power allowed the Sith to influence Jedi Master Yoda during his trip to the Sith world of Morband. Darth Sidious appeared to Yoda as the Jedi entered the tomb of Darth Bane, masquerading as the dead Jedi Master sifo and tempting him with the identity of Darth Sidious. This one tragic Star Wars The Clone Wars episode explained why Palpatine chose to target Count Dooku and turn him into a Sith apprentice. This ability is capable of reaching incredible distances but it comes at a high cost. In order to actually pull this off, Darth Sidious needed to exploit the force bond that already existed between Master Yoda and his one-time pupil, Count Dooku. Without their already strong connection, Dark Illusion would not have been possible. Number four, Force Phantom was a Star Wars Legends ability. This ability required an incredible amount of energy. Also known as Sith Phantasms, the ability to create Force Phantoms allowed the user to create a perfect copy of whatever they wanted. This could be another person or perhaps a monster, so long as whoever was creating the Phantom continued to hold complete and utter focus. However, this took an incredible amount of energy, which needed to be collected beforehand in order to not only keep up the illusion, but protect the user as well. Created by Darth Vectivus centuries in the past, the Sith Lady, Lumia, would be the one to popularize its ability use in the Legacy of the Force series. She used this ability to torment countless people after the Age of the Empire, including using it to force Luke and Mara Jade Skywalker to fight apparitions of their son, Ben Skywalker, and their nephew, Jason Solo. Although this ability has only been seen in Star Wars Legends, there's always a chance that it can make its way into canon. Number five. Memory Walk was used as a torture device. The Sith were not the only ones to use this ability. Described as a dark side ability used for millennia by different practitioners of the dark side of the Force, 
Memory Walk was an ability primarily used for torture. It involved delving deep into someone's mind, pulling out their worst memories, and then forcing the person in question to relive them. This would be repeated over and over again, causing pain in the process, but somehow making the subject more intelligent after recovery. The Sorcerers of Tund and the Order of the Sith Lords were both known to use this technique, but it was most famously used by the sorcerer Rokar Gepta in L. Neil Smith's 1983 novel Lando Calrissian and the Flame Wind of Ocean. Here he used this ability on Lando Calrissian in the hopes of killing him. However, before he could finish the job, they were attacked by the Rintassians, and Lando was given the opportunity to escape. Those are five dangerous Sith powers that you didn't see in the movies. Some were in the comics and some were in games, and I think they are fantastic. I think they should use those in the movies. Disney needs to step up its game and start pulling these powers and putting them in canon because those are pretty intense, especially the dark aura, dark illusion, man. That's that's pretty nasty. You know, it made Yoda think that Sifo Dyas was, was back in the Clone Wars and then Force Phantasm. That's uh, pretty intense. That, that was Legends. That's when the Sith made Luke and Mara Jade fight their nephew and their son. That's pretty <laughs> crappy. But let me know what you think. What dark side powers do you know that you think should have been included in this list that I didn't mention? And put it down below. I'm really interested in hearing what you have to say. And if you're interested, here's a video about 10 things that Palpatine did that were head scratchers that were, why did he do that? And if you want to know what they are, watch the video. It'll tell you. May the force be with you always.